Joy here and welcome back to my Back to College series where I'm showing you guys all of my college tips, tricks, and advice all the time this fall. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see all of these college videos with your notification bells turned on. That way you'll know every time I post a new video. So interesting thing, I have an interesting experience with roommates um, and negative experiences. And I think that this is like, these are the tips I wish I had followed before doing the roommate things that I did. So I hope these are helpful. I hope you take them with a grain of salt or take them very seriously if you're very serious about your living space, which I am now that I've experimented with random roommates, chosen roommates, all of that stuff. One final thing before we get into the tips, if you want my free college dorm checklist that I've been telling you guys about in all of these videos, you can just send me a DM on Instagram after you follow me and just say, hey Joy, can I have that dorm checklist? And I will send it to you. My Instagram will be linked down below and all that jazz. And my handle is at joywade underscore. So I can't wait. So definitely check that out. So my first tip for roommates, if you've never had a roommate before, if you're going to do a random roommate, is to make sure you ask tons of questions when you guys are deciding whether or not you wanna be roommates. Just because you're in like a Facebook group of people looking for roommates, you don't have to say yes to the first person who asks if you're interested in being roommates. I recommend asking questions like, what time do you wake up? What time do you go to bed? Do you study in the room or study outside the room? How often do you, plan on having guests do you have a significant other will they be coming to the room also ask things like how often do you clean right now you want to ask like open-ended questions like that because if the person says once a semester you're gonna be like uh you could say like how often do you clean your room now what things do you do to clean <laughs> i had a roommate who was like i've never wiped a table in my life i was like well you're gonna learn today um, I'm gonna try not to expose people in this roommate video, but it might be hard to resist. It might be hard to resist. So that's the first thing. Just like make sure you're asking questions, especially if you are a clean person, like make sure you find out if the other person's clean. Also ask about their habits. Like, do they drink? Do they smoke? How frequently? Where will it be in the room? I hope you're getting my drift. So my second tip for roommates is to set a cleaning schedule. So once you have your roommate, you wanna set like a couple of base ground things and one of those is a cleaning schedule. Even though a cleaning schedule sounds like meh, it will really come in handy, especially if you have more than two people in your apartment or room. One example is I lived in an apartment that had two bedrooms and there were four people, so we did do a cleaning schedule just to make sure everybody was contributing equally. Cleaning schedules are also good for two people too, just so you know who's doing what and how frequently. One person might take the bathroom, one person might take the kitchen, one person might take the bedroom, or you might just do tasks like I'll vacuum, I'll sweep, I'll make, take out the trash, all of that, and make sure you know how frequently the person's doing it. And ask about how they prefer to be reminded about doing things, because some people might get offended if you tell them in person or if you text them. I don't know, people are have their preferences, so even go as far as being, hey, if you forget one week, would you prefer that I texted you or told you in person or wait a couple of days before I remind you? I feel like that could be really helpful with that process. Another thing you might make sure you talk about in that conversation leads me to number three, and that is setting your guest expectations. So are you guys allowed to have guests of the opposite sex in the room? Do you want to be notified before a guest comes? How far in advance, day of, week of? Are you guys gonna do overnight guests? All of that stuff. Really answer those questions truthfully, and also don't, have a double standard be like don't be like hey i have a boyfriend and she has a boyfriend but only my boyfriend can come to the room like really decide what you guys are going to do with that my fourth tip for roommates is to kind of get to know the person um i had a roommate experience where we didn't talk like the whole semester just because i was so fed up on how dirty the room was so i was like you can't respect me so why do i need to get to know you that was literally my mood 
like that whole semester. So basically, I just want to encourage you guys to maybe get to know them, get to know like what they like to do. If you're a freshman, definitely go to like different events that they're having for you guys together. I think freshman year, your roommate is a good chance to like make a friend on campus. Not saying that you have to be friends with your roommate at all, but um, definitely get to know them, get to know who you're living with because you are living with them, you are sleeping with them every day. Not with them, but in the same vicinity every day. And you're probably gonna see them naked eventually. It happens, like the towel slips one day. <laughs> yeah, let me go to the next tip. Okay, so that brings me to the last tip, number five. So if conflict does arise, I would say avoid arguing. If an argument arises, like shut it down. Go get an RA, go get someone to be the middle man. And then if there is a disagreement, that's where you can pull out the receipts, you can pull out your roommate agreement, or you can pull out the cleaning schedule you guys decided on and stuff like that. Also, my one roommate experience got to the point where I was like had to take pictures of like how the state of the room was because like right before we'd have a meeting, like the room the room would miraculously be like cleaner. So I'd have to take pictures, keep receipts, all of that stuff. And also like my big mistake was not switching rooms. Um, this was when I was like about to go study abroad, so I was only gonna be in that situation for a semester, so I thought I could sit it out, but it really just affected my whole semester, and like, it was not like, I should have just left and found a new roommate. I was just being lazy. I was like, I don't wanna move all my stuff, da 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 da, -da. but I should have just left. So if your roommate situation is just very stressful, it's bringing you down, it's messing up your mood, things aren't changing, like the person is not responsive, ask for a room change, like it's okay. You're not, like, it'll be better for the both of you guys to just part your ways if there, an agreement can't be made. So yeah, those are all my tips for roommate survival. This is very different than my previous one, I think just because I did have a bad roommate situation, so now I'm very careful and like really intentional about the advice I'm giving you guys about roommates because I don't want you guys to be in a situation that can be avoided by just switching rooms or something like that. So if you watch my roommate advice, last year it might have been more like positive, like oh my god, but this year I'm like protect your energy sis, protect your energy. Because college is stressful, like we already out here like sad like sad because we got homework all the time. Why we gotta be, you want to walk in your room or your apartment and be like happy and like be peaceful and have good vibes and energy in there. So that's what we doing in 2019 and beyond. So good luck. Let me know if you've ever had a bad roommate experience or like what you're scared about with having a roommate in the comments below. You don't have to like drop names. Do not drop names or anything like that. But this ain't the shade room, but we will drop a little shade. So uh, let me know in the comments below. I feel like this could be a really funny conversation just to see if any of you guys have experienced something like that. So thanks so much. Make sure you're binge watching the college series. You're already here, so keep watching all my college videos that are in the playlist up there. Also, um, there is a free six months of Amazon Prime coupon down in the description. So check that out if you're interested. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.